the video on something I want to have a faff around with as usual so I've, I've always got things at the back of the cupboard that I'm meaning to do something with but I get sidetracked uh, I kind of pick things up in the supermarket that may be on special offer and I kind of think ah I'll buy that and at some point I'll do something with it and sometimes they go way past the sell by date and I use them and they're, they're kind of fine but now and again uh, things just get far to beyond uh, any kind of use so I've had these um, dried mushrooms in the back of the cupboard for far too long and they start to go mouldy and I was kind of like oh that's a disappointment I really should have got around to uh, using them sooner so we can't use those but I did buy these, these um, porcini, dried porcini mushrooms uh, from Lidl. And I kind of thought, well, if the other mushrooms have kind of slowly over time start to go mouldy, then we really should do something with these. Uh, and I'm like, oh, I don't know what to do. Um, so, but I do now. Uh, so what I've done is I've ground them up into a, into a powder, put them in the, in the spice grinder and ground them up into a, a powder. I probably could do it a little bit, a little bit finer than that, but we'll dig down to the bottom. So all the hard, yeah. So all the woody stuffs come to the top. So like when you're panning with gold, um, the heavy stuff goes to the bottom when you're panning with gold. But if you um, the stuff that's not as fibrous goes down to the bottom. If you kind of give things a bit of shake around, so if something's a bit fibrous. It's a bit fibrous on top of that. So we just give it a shake, and then we'll dig around and pick out the stuff from the bottom. So I've ground some up, and we're going to add it to some. It's just a plain soup at the moment. So it's just an onion puree with some chicken stock in and some milk and a little bit of pepper and a little bit of salt so we're going to add that powder to that and then also we've got this other powder which is the I made some mushroom ketchup and the mushrooms that were left over I dried them out and then I pounded them up so we've got that powder as well so that's a little bit spicy a little bit mushroomy a little bit mushroomy because only a little bit mushroomy because we've strained out the liquid we cooked the mushrooms in some liquid and then we pureed them and then we squeezed out all the excess juice so most a lot of the flavor from the mushrooms is gone so there's not that much flavor of mushroom in there but there's a little bit of spiciness a little bit of mushroom so we'll see if we can actually just add powdered mushrooms to a soup and if it just we don't need to kind of cook them we can just use it as a seasoning type of thing that's what i'm kind of getting at in a long way around things so dig down to the bottom of there and then we'll put in a teaspoon of mushrooms and then we'll just give it a puree and we'll see what happens. Now we'll turn the blender on first. That's got nice and frothy, hasn't it? So, I need something to put that on. I don't want to make a mess of my board but for no good reason. So we'll just put that on there. And then we'll give it a taste. So it think. And then I've got another batch of soup, which we can use with the, uh, the other dried powder. So, it's mushroom soup at the, um, at the weekend. So at a function, so I'll just be able to take the excess packets of, of this soup, uh, of this um, powders and powder it down at work and then just add it to the soup. Yeah, that works. Needs a little bit more. Needs a little bit more to kind of get that full mushroomy kind of flavour. So, just pure a little bit more in. But that's kind of lovely colour, hasn't it? That's kind of lovely colour, so we'll give that a taste. Let's see what we think. Yeah, that's lovely. So <coughs> that's lovely. So we've instead of rehydrating the mushrooms, um, we've just relied on the liquid in the soup to um, rehydrate the mushrooms and taste of mushroom. Now I will add that. Some of these mushrooms like morels they're, they're quite sandy so when you uh, rehydrate them in liquid um, there's a little bit of grit and sand in the bottom of the liquid which you don't kind of quite use so you just have to a little bit a little bit careful but that seems fine so well that went out of there like that into my container and then oh, that pan off. 
so it doesn't make a mess. And then we've got another batch of soup. So it'll taste a little bit of the dry porcinis, but that's forgivable. Put those out of the way. And then we want half a teaspoon of this. Half a yeah, I think half a teaspoon of that because it's got the the spices in. So this might taste more mushroomy and spicy more than anything else. And I don't want to over spice it. So half a teaspoon to start off with. <laughs> Is it? It's gone a bit grey, but mushrooms are grey when you cook them. Now that works, we can get away with a little bit more. Let's see if we can stretch to the that so Teas another teaspoon in there. not as mushroomy but i kind of predicted that so that's interesting we can buy or even dry our own mushrooms powder them down either cook them first or don't yeah so we can yeah we can we can go and pick show you i bought some mushrooms for uh, another project where are they oh here so we can do it two ways we can buy fresh mushrooms or go out and pick mushrooms if we know what we're doing don't go out and pick mushrooms if you don't know what you're doing we could then slice these wash them slice them and then dry them out in the oven in the oven or in a hot cupboard on a dehydrator uh, to uh, preserve them long term and then we can actually powder those dried mushrooms and add them to soups as is or we could cook the mushrooms drive off lots of the moisture that way and then dry them out uh, further once they're cooked and then we could powder them that way uh, and then add them to soups as a seasoning type of thing so we could uh, soups and stews kind of add that bit of mushroom kind of flavor we could use a mushroom powder so it works in two different ways um, I'm quite happy that that's happened that means that I'm, I'm not gonna have to throw away those mushrooms or think of something to do with them I can simply add them to uh, a uh, soup uh, the next time we have soup uh, mushroom soup which is at the weekend uh, function we can do that so that's interesting that's success it works and also kind of makes things a little bit easier on you that you can take a mushroom powder and just add it to a soup or a stew as is we don't need to cook it or anything like that but there we go a success